Hi, my name is Agata. Welcome in Agata's Cottage. It's Friday, so on Saturday, hopefully. If only I will get the chance to edit it. We had a week, <laughs> called it like that. As you might notice, my voice is a little bit gone. So um, Alice wasn't feeling the bestest over the weekend. It's not that she had a fever or anything like it. She was just coughing a bit. But because she has asthma, things like that do happen, especially in the hay fever season. So she's been coughing so much on Saturday, sorry, not on Monday night, that on Tuesday I booked appointment with the doctor. Turned out her asthma flared up. Her chest is clear, everything is clear, it's just the asthma flared up. So she got some meds. She stayed home for two days, even though the doctor said that if she feels up to, she can go to school but she barely slept a wink uh, between Tuesday night and, and Wednesday and Wednesday night and Thursday. So I had no heart of sending her to school because she was just exhausted. And in fairness, she was coughing so much that she wouldn't take much from the lessons and she would be disturbance to everyone else. She went back to school yesterday, but because I was home with her constantly for two days, I didn't get much sewing done. I had crazy busy weekend last weekend and then I had appointment on Monday and you know how it is. Life happens. So I don't have many things to share with you today. Many makes to share with you. That's a different story. So let's start where I left you off last Friday. So on Saturday, I met with a few of my sewing friends in Carlo Fabrics. We went a bit of shopping and we went for lovely lunch. Anyway, we had fabulous time. Uh, Catherine, as always, was extremely welcoming. And um, I messaged her in advance asking about linings for my fabrics. I took chiffon, a few of chiffons with me and we were laughing that I'm bringing wood to the forest because, you know, bringing fabric to the fabric store is like bringing wood to the forest but anyway um she was very helpful she has amazing eye for picking matching colors so i sent her pictures of the chiffons in advance and yeah uh, she had great suggestions so i got few linings of her and I got 10 meters of calico. Sorry, this video will be heavily edited because I coughed a lot. My asthma flared up too. You know, it's hay fever season. So, um, yeah, it's going to be challenging few months. Anyway, I pick up calico. I pick up lining. I was extremely tempted by some gorgeous fabrics that Catherine has in her store. But I managed to hold off because, you know, it's it's when you have an audience like friends who know that you're on the buying van it's easier to stop yourself because you know you don't want to lose your face i picked up a fray check and i picked this gorgeous webbing and that webbing is rachel's from french seams fault because uh, she picked that webbing some time ago and she's been using it and i just couldn't resist i was tempted by the other colorway Catherine had but I just went with this one I think on the next trip I will pick the other one because I feel formal in that regard so we'll see and after the shopping we went for lovely lunch to the nearby restaurant we had fabulous time uh, we had some food we had plenty of tea and we were showing our fabrics talking patterns and I wore my uh, Simplicity 8013, I think that's that's the number. If I got it wrong, I'll put the, put the correct one um, somewhere on the screen. I love this dress, I just love this dress. And the girls loved it too, so um, yeah. I actually have next one planned, hopefully soon. On Sunday, my sister-in-law and I went a bit of shopping. So I wanted to look at shoes. As you know, I'm on the I'm undecided, that's the best way, what to wear for frog tails. And I'm leaning towards trousers and a top. 
and I spotted on River Island um, website those gorgeous espadrille shoes with the leopard print and I wanted to try them so um, we went we tried definitely not for me they weren't comfortable whatsoever I have peculiar feet that's the best way to describe it so it's uh, it's not that easy for me to find any shoes uh, that will be comfortable so we went on the lookout through other stores to look for different shoes and I couldn't find anything until we got to papers and there were some shoes that were reasonable shoes and normally I would go for them but I spotted very very unreasonable shoes I'm very reasonable about the clothes not necessarily about shoes shoes I don't buy many shoes I don't buy almost at all high heels but they are shoes that cannot be left so that's the shoe aren't they fabulous so I got them on a sale. They were on a sale from 115 euro to 39. So that was last pair in my size. They are gorgeous. So they are by the brand uh, Mendbur. So it's a Spanish brand. They are so comfortable. I put them on and it was like wearing a sleeper on a high heel. So very, very comfortable. So I got those shoes. So, of course, that meant that my plan with um, doing trousers with a nice top is to be slightly elevated because those shoes deserve very fancy top. So, I have two ideas in my head and I think I will go ahead with both of them. But you will see them when they are done. I haven't started working on them yet because I was on the lookout for perfect bra to match the idea that I had in my head. It's extremely hard to find reasonably priced, I mean below 100 euro, bra in the size 34F that can be multi-way, so can be braless or can have a like a wrap thingy, like the strap going around and relatively low back. It's, it's very hard. But I solved my problem today. You know what I did? I dig out my older bra that I wore only a handful of occasion. Oh, the, the bra had to be nude color. So I dig out my older bra and it's slightly loose, but the caps still fit. So I just hand stitched half of the centimeter on each side, like, no, maybe not half maybe a centimeter, kind of like a little pleat on the sides. You can't feel it when you're wearing it. I tried. It's not going to be visible. And I have bra sorted. So I can start working on muslins for my both tops. So after the shoes, of course, you know, we had to go for lunch and uh, do some other things. It, it was really lovely uh, afternoon and uh, by the time I got home, I was exhausted. Uh, I had very short nap. Uh, Chris and Alice come back from a day of uh, backwood training for scouts. So we all had a dinner and then I joined three of my friends on sewing zoom. I haven't done that much during sewing zoom. I tidy up my sewing space. I start working on finishing shirt t-shirt for Chris so I just have neckband to finish I did all the hems and everything um, I did some unpicking and some finishing touches on like mending stuff uh, but that's it we mainly chatted uh, but I needed that I needed that and um, I was chatting with girls about patterns and stuff and uh, as always they were extremely helpful um, so as I mentioned on Monday I have my appointment so I haven't done any almost any sewing I did some cutting out on Tuesday so I cut out um, t-shirts for my sister-in-law that I promise I will make 
before she goes away for her holidays but unfortunately there is no chance I'm gonna make it unless I will have time this afternoon and I can drop it to her in the evening but it's very unlikely it's just life happens um then I cut out also um Paddington top so I put it together and I didn't realize how massive the sleeve patterns are I was planning to make it in the cotton poplin from beyond the pink door but when I saw how big those pattern pieces are and I laid them on the fabric I wouldn't have enough to extend the front and the back it would be just very tight squeeze I would have to I don't know some bind the bottom hem because it would be extremely extremely short on me so I decided to skip that idea and I picked a trowel that I bought a few months ago in Ikea I originally bought it thinking about using it for um, tea towels so it's like a double gauze actually I will show you the color so it's like a dusty blue teal color so I used that it was 150 wide by 200 meters long 200 centimeters not meters 200 centimeters long and it has this funny um, frayed edge like this so I cut it cut the front and the back piece the way that I can have this fray edge instead of hem we'll see how it works if I don't like it I will just chop it off um, so I decided to do the Paddington top in this I just cut it out I haven't had a chance to do anything about it I'm not planning to do the buttonholes I will do just a little loop on the top and one small button and I will do keyhole opening because I tested doing buttonholes on the scrap and I wasn't really happy with the result and um, when I interfaced the fabric for the but like for the button like the piece where the button placket would be uh, on a scrap of course it just it just wasn't looking the way I wanted it like I know this fabric wasn't intended for the clothing uh, so I don't mind if it won't be anything workable or wearable that's okay I basically wanted to test the fit and with leftover fabrics what I did I cut out some of the tea towels and basically that's what I originally planned to use uh, this fabric for I realized that I will have a lot of tea towels out of this fabric so there was no point of using it whole and I didn't want to piece uh, keep the remnants in my stash and because the shapes I had left over were a bit odd so it was just good that I could cut various sizes tea towels and when I was on the mood of cutting this out I cut out the triangle scarf uh, for Chris and I cut out the scarf uh, for him and I just used the remnants to do a few tea towels so I have I think three finished so I just basically overlocked the edges and do double folded hem and those tea towels are amazing for cleaning windows especially in the car they are just brilliant they are not leaving smudges whatsoever we love them I already tested one of those on our car and I think the next time we are in Ikea I will pick another troll if it will be on the sale and just do more of those so in relation to makes that's all what I managed to get so next week hopefully I will finish my Paddington top I will finish t-shirt for Chris finish all the towels and I will get to work on the make for collab with one of my dear sewing friends so our video will be out on the 30th of April so I don't have that much time but I will get it done I have the idea I have the pattern and everything is just a matter of 
getting it done. What else happened? Um, let me think. Nothing major in relation to life, because last week was mainly about Alice and making sure she's getting better. My sewing time and my recording time suffers because of that, but that's the reality of life. What else I'm planning to make? I'm actually planning an upcycle. So um, last week I got a dress at River Island. It was on a sale. It's this dress. Okay. It's summer dress. There's no chance I will wear it. I wouldn't feel comfortable. It's, it's just not for me. So what I'm planning to do is remove the bodice. So basically the booby parts. <laughs> remove the uh, belts. So those pieces I'm actually planning to use in a blouse that I will be making uh, for myself in the uh, broider anglaise I got from white. I will link the video with my so April blouse ideas and I wasn't sure if I would have enough of fabric to do the ties that are required for the pattern but I will just use those ties because they are already made and they should be sufficient length. I'm planning to use the booby part basically to make a pocket and I will unpick the side seam and just enter the pocket and I will add wide elastic like a thicker elastic at the top and I'm planning to dye everything fuchsia pink so you know that, so I will have a long um, maxi skirt for summer it's uh, everything is 100% cotton uh, it's very flowy it seems decent quality and it's not something that I will be wearing super often and it was on a sale for 10 euro so um, it will save me tons of gathering and to be honest I'm not really maxi dress or maxi skirts kind of wearer but I watched recently video by Tiffany from Hoger Handmade and she talked about those maxi skirts and it just sparked a need in me to have maxi skirt in my life for summer assuming we will have summer because you know in Ireland it's um, it's hidden miss in that regard but I think even in early autumn I could wear it with boots and uh, just tights underneath and a jacket or oversized sweater and it will be fine. Now what else I got? I got a magazine. Actually I got a few magazines but first I will show you the one that I'm the most excited about. It's this one. It's simply sewing and I bought it because my dear friend Adam is there like i was hunting the magazine it was last one in my essence and um i just had to have it so uh, there were a few patterns included uh, in this sewing magazine the other patterns that were included was the Brittany tea oh, we'll see i do like drop shoulder teas so we will see i will give it a try not anytime soon but i will one day which brings me to what I'm wearing, actually. So um, this is uh, Kirsten Kimono Tea by Maria Denmark. It's one of the first patterns uh, I ever tried and I love it. I have a good few of those and I love them. It's a bit snack, <laughs> uh, but I just adore it. I made it in super lightweight t-shirt jersey I got in Poland a few years ago and I have it. I think I done it two years ago and I wear it and it's very comfortable. Now um, another thing, another pattern that was there was the Marta wrap dress. Um, it's just simple wrap dress with uh, bust darts and waist darts at the back. So there might be shaping in relation to sway back if you need it. And there is a pattern that I'm very excited about the Tula, Tulia tea. I saw this pattern first time last year when um, Sarah from So Sarah Style made few patterns uh, in spring. I think that was for 
uh, selfless soul April. I'm not 100% sure, but I put in my notes that I want to get that pattern. And of course, you know, I misplaced my notes and I completely forgot about this. And when I opened the magazine and this pattern was there, I was like, it's just fate because I really want to give it a try. I have a few more sewing magazines to share with you. Um, I'm a fan of Made by Oranges patterns. They aren't the most instructive in relation to description of the fabric or in description of how to make things, but they do have lovely patterns. And I recently made top for Alice for So Frugal using their free pattern, and I just love it. So uh, I got an email with information that they are doing a sale on some of their magazines and there's limited um, like there's a discount on the postage so I got five magazines including shipping I think it's from Netherlands for 19 euro which I think is brilliant so I got two of the magazines for kids so their magazine for kids is called Be Trendy and they have some gorgeous things. The one thing that I want to warn you is that the pattern pieces need to be traced. So that's how the pattern pieces look like. And there's a few things that like uh, shorts and tops that Alice really like. So we are going to test them. And there is another one also for kids. So one is the Be Trendy number 18 and one is number 20. They are from two or three years ago, but I don't mind that they are a little bit older because I don't follow trends per se. I just saw what I think is comfortable and what I know that we will enjoy wearing. And I got three pattern, three magazines for myself. So their uh, women's magazines are called either My Image or Miss Doodle, depends on the magazine. So uh, there's a good few patterns here that I want to try. I will just show you which one I'm the most excited about. So I really love this dress. Um, here is tiny line drawing. So it's a drop shoulder, slightly drop shoulder dress with a little bit keyhole opening and invisible zipper at the front. So it looks uh, very relaxed. The other thing that I want to ma make is actually set like that. So a wrap skirt and the top. So the top has like a almost elbow length uh, sleeves and it's made in knit fabrics. And the skirt has lovely buttons here on the side. And I think it's a little bit unusual, not like all the other wrap tops or sorry, wrap skirts I seen. So I'm excited to make that one and include it in my wardrobe. Don't know if I'll make it for this spring or summer, but I will make it eventually. I also want to make this blouse. I'm hoping I will have the chance to make it for so April blouse because it has very unique features and I just adore it. We will see how it goes. And I want to make this top. Although I'm not frills or ruffles person, I really like the detail of this little ruffle at the front and I think I it's something that I would wear. I really love this set, so the top and the skirt. It's For me it's perfect combination because you can wear it separately, you can wear it as a one piece and pretend it's a dress. I also want to make those trousers. Um, I want to make cargo trousers for a long time. I have few patterns in my stash, uh, but I haven't made them yet. So I think the next few months will be towards trying find perfect cargo pants uh, pattern. And um, I do love wearing cargo pants. I've been wearing them for years, even in the times when they weren't really in fashion, but they are just practical and you know, I am a practical person and I love this top. Of course, I will extend it a little bit. I don't like when things are above my waist, but I just love the overall boho feel of that top.
I almost forgot about small channel shout out. I don't do those often, but every time when I came across someone that I enjoy watching, I try to remember to share it with you. So I discovered this lady not so long ago, but I watched a few of her videos, although I still need to comment about on them. Uh, but she goes into details about her makes, about the changes she's doing. Uh, she talks about the challenges she had with the make. And I do enjoy her honesty and the, the overall style of her videos and what she's making. So I will butcher your name. I'm so sorry. So it's Terrahia from Peace and Make. I will leave a link to her channel and to her Instagram down below. Have a look. She recently made gorgeous corduroy dress that is just perfection. So the question of the week is, are you a quilter? I do not consider myself a quilter, I do, I do enjoy occasional quilting. So I think that's all for today. Extremely sorry for heavy editing and the sound of my voice. I know like I sound like I've been drinking for a very long time, but I don't. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for all the lovely comments on the previous videos. What are your sewing plans for next week? Do you enjoy quilting? I would love to hear your answers in the comments below. Thank you for watching and don't forget, clean your sewing machine and change your needle. Bye!